Hi, today I would like to talk about mutexes in C sharp and I would also discuss how they can be a little bit better than uh, monitors for example. So one thing to note about mutexes in C sharp is that they can uh, be used across uh, different programs and different processes and what you can do is uh, get a global mutex. So one of the simplest calls you can make is to get a new mutex and you can say it's initially owned is false for example and you can give it a name that would be global. So in this case I have a sample mutex as the name uh, and I'm just going to wait on this uh, mutex and uh, at that point since I didn't acquire that uh, and I can say press any key to release the system mutex and then I can say console.readline and uh, at the end I'm going to release the mutex. So let's just uh, start this program and see what it does. So if you uh, uh, see this uh, since it was not really uh, going to be uh, acquired it was basically passed through the wait one there's no wait and it acquired the mutex and now it's really waiting for me to release the system mutex. So I'm not going to release this because this is a uh, a demonstration of how it can be used so I'm going to leave this for, for now. Let me go to the other project uh, which I have and I will show you uh, a little bit difference here. So it's essentially I'm doing the same thing I'm acquiring a mutex and uh, and it's the same mutex as you might have noticed and it's in a separate program so it will be a separate process and I have started some five tasks here total task five and each of these threads, I'm uh, giving it a name called thread dash the index i, which is going to 0 through 4. And this is basically going in a while loop. And uh, I have suggested that I'm going to wait on this semaphore uh, mutex and uh, give it a time of about 100 milliseconds. If I get that, I will do something. If I don't get that, I will just sleep and I just print uh, sleeping and just kind of go back in the while loop and all the five threads are going to be doing this. <coughs> if I do acquire the mutex I can increment a variable called number of tasks and at the end I will just release the mutex and uh, if the number of tasks are not equal to number of total tasks in the end I will say that something is broken and something bad is going on. So let's say if I just start this task uh, So you can see that they are just all sleeping because they are not able to acquire the mutex since it's a global mutex and I have shown you that it was essentially see here everything is sleeping right now. So what I'm going to do is also put in a little breakpoint here so we can stop at the very end just to make sure. Uh, so right now it's just basically printing the sleeping because uh, it's not able to acquire the mutex it comes here and all these threads are essentially uh, sleeping. So if I go into my other program uh, where I had the same mutex and I press a key as you can see it's going to release the mutex and this program came back the other one came back and if you look at the console you can see it went into the working thread here see working thread and then it did a release and then did a break so I will have one two three four five and uh, so the advantage with mutexes is that they can be global, they can be used cross processes and hopefully you found this uh, useful. If you want to know more, uh, you can basically go to my website and search for Gore Associates and you can search for this in uh, uh, hundreds and thousands of other videos that you might find very useful. So in the URL, uh, my uh, website is Gore Associates. And I'm going to go there and thank you for taking the time to watch this short screencast. You have a great day.